Here we have a video of Kerry loading uh, a boat on a pickup truck with uh, Thule roof racks. You know, just remember to uh, ideally put the boat upside down as this will have a greater resistance to deforming if it's a polyethylene boat versus our stiffer thermoformed or fiberglass boats that we manufacture. Uh, notice that the buckle is high up on the top of the deck because you will be pulling down and much easier to pull down on the strap once it's fed through the uh, buckle and uh, so basically you go around the bar over the top with both strap sides put it through the uh, buckle and uh, always like to wrap a single loop around the bar just uh, to prevent it from slipping off if it uh, comes loose a little bit and just snug it down and typically you'll place the rear bar on a bulkhead if it's uh, at all possible. Uh, one of the front or the back should be on a bulkhead um, and if there is no bulkhead of course being upside down is uh, it's a stiffer uh, situation than if it is right side up. The hull is always a little more flexible than the deck and uh, Carrie will just feed through the uh, second one. Um, with the loose end of the strap, you can wrap it around the bar or you can just feed it inside the door and close the door. It's always good to, if you have a long line of uh, webbing, uh, twist the line a couple times so it stops the uh, buffeting, uh, very annoying sound while you're going down the highway at speed. In this case, there's a large spread between the um, bars, so I don't worry about a bow or stern tie down so much, but if you've got a narrow feeding car or narrow length roof car, and uh, you'll be traveling any distance, it's always nice to have a balanced turn tie down. It well basically gives you insurance that uh, you haven't, uh, you are not about to lose your boat on road. And in this particular case, uh, Carrie is just uh, doing a quick uh, fix here to secure the ropes, or to secure the straps on the uh, bars. And off to the races she goes, and that's it.